Oh yeah. Mm It's been a long week. <laughs> James Prince. I told y'all, y'all gonna put some respect on that man's name. Y'all just act like he's a guy that's out here. J. Prince is represented by one word that he has always pushed through the entire world. That is respect. That's all J. Prince has ever requested from anybody, has ever asked anybody to just pay him. Respect, man. And he just makes sure people uphold that bargain of the word respect. He don't bully you. What do he got to bully you for? There is a reason people like Drake are loyal to him. Not because he's extorting Drake. His son is the one that found him on MySpace. So before Drake was anything, Jay Prince was there with him. That's all. He's family. You know, so enough with all this boogeyman stuff. You know, enough with all that. This is about one thing. Respect. And that's what these gentlemen provided. That's what these gentlemen went out there and brought to the table. Real recognize real in every hood is what he said. And he's true. He got the chain back, but there's other people that recognize that word, respect. And they want to link up and say, hey, let's, get, let's do something for real here. And that's when he came in with his whole thing. He made a post today with with French and all them there. He was like, yeah, real recognized as real in every hood and has a way of connecting in spite of clowns and square. The homies from the Bronx, KT. Focus 45 in French Montana. Kept it real with my son, J. Prince Jr. Though it was never about the chain, it was about the name that was built off the blood, sweat, and tears. I welcome those brothers to our mob ties movement. And I look forward to us doing business in the future together. There's power and strength of numbers. And when strong brothers from the streets align themselves with one another, suckers tremble. So I can only imagine how some of y'all are feeling right now. I've invited these homies to H-Town for J. Prince Jr.'s birthday celebration. That's March 28th the 31st and I look forward to coming to the Bronx soon the big picture here is that the same as I stated in the first post to not allow moment thinkers to muddy the waters over the movement and to almighty J I'll be returning your jewelry soon little homie to be continued. So, as you can hear from his statement, the chain was returned, and they're going to give him back his jewelry. Now, it's not about that. This was a, a respect thing. It needed to be checked and addressed. Now, people are like, how he get that? It's not about how he got it. It's the fact that he got it. 
That's the question. It's the fact that he got it. And that's all that matters. Respect. I mean, a lot of people have done things in this industry and didn't realize who they were doing it to and how situations happen. There's hip-hop situations you didn't even know about. People out of town got their chains took and snatched. We all know about the thing with RZA and them people, you know, when the chain got snatched and Pac them told you how they went and got the chain back and gave it to them. You know, things, those things have been going on in this business for years. There have been a lot of instances where people's chains were snatched and returned back to them. You know, this happened to Nas in a situation. This happened to Prodigy. This happened to a lot of East Coast rappers. One rapper basically retired because he got tired of getting robbed. Like, man, forget this game, man. They keep robbing me. I can't even go to GameStop. So, taking of someone's chain is like a sign, an ultimate sign of disrespect. Ultimate sign of disrespect. You feel me? And when you have this ultimate sign of disrespect, problems ensue. And one of the major problems here. Is the lack of respect. The younger generation don't know who to respect and who not. If you're not in front of their faces, they don't know you. They don't know that this isn't a good idea. They don't know, I don't know about this, dog. This might be too bad. Or this might not be too good for me. They don't know these situations. They really don't know. And because of that, they do the things and they act, you know, without saying, before you touch somebody, before you need to know, who does God know? Before I put my hands on him, I need to know who he's aligned with. You see what I'm saying? Those are the things that need to be addressed. Those are the type of things that need to be discussed before people just go ahead and make actions. You know, so with that being said, it's your boy Carcino, man. I'm out. I want to say shouts out to everybody who helped get this done and accomplished. And don't forget to support the page, man. Keep the movement alive. Donate to the page. Hit the cash app up if that's best for you. Or you can click the link in the description box and leave me a message in the stream lab where it says donate. I'm out.